Hey guys, it's Sour, and today we're back to open 50 more supply drops. This is the second video. I've made one before this where I opened my first 50 supply drops, and this is my next 50. I believe I've recorded every single one so far, and as long as you guys still enjoy seeing them, I will continue to record them. So the last video was well received, but I also took all the feedback I got, and this time I will be talking all the way through the video about what I get, providing a little commentary. After all, in the last video, I did compare these things to how some people do trading card pack openings, and the entertainment value in those for most people is the reactions and the opinions on what you pull. So this time I will talk about everything and let's get this show on the road. Of course it takes quite a while to amass all these supply drops so you'll see that I will go from prestige 2 level 49 all the way to prestige 5 level 41 in this video. Anyway let's begin and see what we can get. Ooh, that's a sound I like to hear. We start this off with an Elite, the Royalty Cap, and some XP. That's actually my first part of the Royalty set. I know a lot of people are going for that, not me personally, because, well, it looks okay, but I think it kind of gives away your position. Just saying. Um, Alright, we got the AMR9 Shorty and the KVA Mercenary Jacket. Don't really care about the clothing that is not Elite, and this doesn't look like the best variant. I don't really like lowering my damage, although Fire Rate is a decent property. I don't know, but I'm not going to use it. And we got an Elite shirt. Only one item, but I'll take it. That's actually awesome, because that's my first Elite shirt. So I can go ahead and equip that, and I now have the ability to wear full Elite gear, except for the sunglasses slot. I've only ever seen one person with Elite eyewear, but whatever, no big deal. I'll probably just choose to wear no sunglasses, because seeing that enlisted item mixed in there with all the other stuff just bothers me. But anyway... Alright, we got the Sentinel Airborne Exo, that's quite a nice Exo in my opinion, but unfortunately I already have it, that's actually the one I'm wearing right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and sell both of these items, so nothing too amazing there. Alright, a crap package, some double XP, that's awesome, and what appears to be a not so great MK14. I really hate those care packages, but we got 45 minutes of double XP, so that's, that's cool, I'm down with that. And finally we have an AK-12 hair trigger and nothing else. Okay, well it's just an enlisted weapon, but honestly that's probably my best AK-12 variant right now because I don't have any others, so I will go ahead and use that, but I'm definitely looking for that AK-12 RIP, I hear that thing's really good, so this isn't too special, but not a terrible thing either. Ooh, now that is something special. The Battle 27 Obsidian Steed, definitely something a lot of people are looking for because, well, it's a plus two damage on the Bal. Unfortunately, this comes at a time when both the Bal has been nerfed. Well, that's fortunate, honestly. And I've already done the diamond camo for the Bal, and I only really play with guns that I haven't done the camos for yet. That's just how I have fun. It kind of challenges me to use other weapons that I normally wouldn't use. So I probably won't get a whole ton of use out of this, but it's cool to have one of the best Bal variants out there. 45 minutes of rapid supply, that is awesome. Uh, pretty crappy looking EM1, I do not want to lower the damage on that thing. And a decent SN6, looks better than the base weapon, but it's just enlisted, so not really a game changer. But I am not going to complain, because we got that 45 minutes of rapid supply, which, based on roughly what we know about how you get supply drops, you get them about every 45 minutes. So this is essentially guaranteeing you a free supply drop, and I will take that. Finally here we have 10 minutes of rapid supply and a Nigerian support helmet. Alright, nothing too special there. I'll be selling the helmet because I only really like to keep elite gear. And we got 10 minutes of rapid supply, which is nothing special. Won't quite earn me back a supply drop. Moving right along here, we have the IMR Hushed and the KVA Leader Mask. Okay, well, you know the drill. I'll be selling the mask. But the IMR seems decent. Uh, lowering handling is no big deal at all. So if you want to use a suppressor on your IMR, I guess this just saves you a create class point. Although I probably won't be using that a whole ton myself. We got a Sentinel Intel loadout and Nigerian Armored loadout. Okay, I remember someone in a comment in the last Supply Drop video saying they were going for the full Nigerian Armored set. So, I guess I got another piece, although I'm not personally going for it myself. Don't think it looks the best. Okay, got a basic care package, a Sentinel Mobile shirt, and some knee pads with a very long name. Okay, nothing that I'm really looking for there. Let's move on. Ooh. Elite. Oh, those are the sounds I like to hear. I think the chances of getting a double elite supply drop are something like 2%. First here we got the Bulldog Face Hammer. This looks awesome actually. The handling is lower, that doesn't matter at all. If you don't know, handling has a very, very, very small effect on your ADS time, which doesn't matter with the Bulldog, and it ups damage and accuracy. All right, well that is awesome. Maxes out the damage of the Bulldog, I like that a lot. And that EXO looks cool too. Now we have the S12 Quiet Time and the Bulldog Rifle. Well, that seems like a decent Bulldog variant, upping the range. That is definitely a good thing for the Bulldog. But I ain't got no time for you, Bulldog Rifled. I just got the Face Hammer. 
and the S12 quiet time, which seems okay, but not all that great. I am not one to suppress my shotguns. Uh, the S12 already has some pretty pitiful range and damage, so I'm gonna go ahead and pass on both of those variants, but let us go open up our final supply drop of the set and get some Atlas contractor gloves. Okay, well that was kind of anticlimactic. Gonna go ahead and sell a bunch of this stuff, and we'll be back to open the next three. And we have the ARX Heavy Barrel, uh, overall crap package, and some double XP. Awesome, 45 minutes, double XP, I like that. And uh, what seems like a decent ARX variant, upping the range. I always look for damage, fire rate, and range. Those are very easily quantifiable values, and they always seem to help out. So that seems okay, but nothing too amazing. Moving right along here, we have the NA45 Exact, the Marine Cavalry Helmet, and Sentinel Mobile Knee Pads. That Marine Cavalry set is interesting because you'll notice it is not enlisted professional or elite, it's just permanent gear, so I don't actually know what triggers you to get those in supply drops. But alright, we got what seems to be a fairly neutral NA45, and some pretty crappy knee pads, so let's open up the final of the set, and get a professional crap package in a crappy shirt. Okay, our last supply drop always seems to be complete booty, so let's move on to the next set. Starting off here, we have the Nigerian Command Loadout. Okay, so I don't think this stuff looks the best, but it is the limited edition gear that they have running from November 26th to December 1st. So I guess it's cool that we got it, even though I probably won't be wearing it. Next up, we have the Offshoot Sunglasses and the EM1 Dimension. Okay, nothing too cool there. Now, what I'm wondering is, what does that symbol mean for the EM1? The one that looks like fire rate, but has a circle around it, because I thought that symbol meant fewer or more reserve magazines, but that doesn't really work with the EM1, because, you know, it doesn't have reserve magazines, so does that mean it overheats faster? Because in that case, this weapon kind of sucks. But, I mean, it, it sucks anyway. Only up one mobility. Let's just go ahead and disregard that and open up our last one of the set. And we got a... Oh, okay. Two two care packages. That's nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm pretty sure when you get two care packages in one supply drop, you don't even get to use both of them. It only gives you one, and the other one kind of just disappears. So that's just a terrible supply drop on many levels, still living up to the reputation of our last supply drop being complete booty. But let's move on and see what we can get here. The KVA Radical Boots, the Ameli Subverter, and the MK14 Deluxe. So not a great MK14, but that's a good Ameli, and those are cool boots. And I kind of laughed when this was opened, because both the KVA Radical Boots and the Ameli Subverter are things that my friend Monkey has been looking for, and I have gotten them multiple times. I have had to sell them multiple times, and I think they're cool, but I just keep getting them, and he has yet to get them, so that was kind of like the torture monkey supply drop. Sorry about that. And we get another Ameli, a decent one too, up fire rate, up range, the Ameli Spacer. Okay, well, that's a thing. Let's go ahead and open up this last supply drop here. And what will be the last one? Is it- oh, never mind, I stand corrected, it will not be complete booty. It actually gives us an Elite Atlas Recon Helmet, which looks pretty cool. That's my first helmet that has that kind of shape and style to it, and it's actually my only elite helmet that is not the royalty cap, which I'm kind of choosing not to wear because it kind of makes you look obvious. So yeah, I'll take that, I'll wear that, I like that supply drop. Let's move on. Alright, opening up our first half group of two this time, not three. We have the Sentinel Mobile shirt, the Marine NK pants, and the AMR9 noob tube. Okay, not really the best variant. It comes with the grenade launcher, of course, and lowers your fire rate, unfortunately. I know there are better AM9 variants that come with a noob tube, so I don't think I'll be using that. Now let's go ahead and open up our second of the set and get the Atlas Contractor Gloves. That's the second time this has happened in this video. There's a little bit of deja vu here, just getting the crappy Atlas Contractor Gloves. Okay, gonna go and sell those again, but let's move on. If you're wondering why we only opened up a set of two there, well, it's because 50 is not a multiple of three, so haha, -ha, math. I had to have at least one set of two. Anyway, back to the sets of three, let's see what we get. We got some rapid supply and some rapid supply, okay. That is a good use of a supply drop, didn't really get anything, but we basically got a free supply drop, so not bad. Now we got the Marine Cavalry shirt, there's the Marine Cavalry set again, and some more rapid supply. Okay, we'll be rapidly supplied for a while, I guess. And yeah, this Marine Cavalry stuff, I don't really know why you get that, because you can't sell it, it's kind of like a special item, I guess. Alright, we got the SAC-3 Rapid and the BAL-27 Assaulter, that looks like a really crappy BAL, and a decent SAC-3, upping the fire rate on those things. Definitely seems like a good thing, so I guess I'll just hold on to that until I get a better one. 
And we got the IMR Hushed, we've gotten that before in this video. And the TAC-19 Light Trigger, nothing too special there. I already have a sweet looking Elite TAC-19, so I won't be needing that. Now we have the Sentinel Medic Shirt and the Atlas Vigilante Loadout. More enlisted stuff that I will be selling, nothing too cool at all there. And now let's open up the last one here, see what we can get. And it is the Nigerian Command Exo. Okay, something different. That is pretty awesome. That's more of the limited edition set. And I'm glad I got the Exo. This is part of the set that I think actually looks pretty cool. And we got the Stinger Seeker, which does nothing for us. And I already have an Elite Stinger, so I will not be needing that at all. But, cool. I think this was a win. Got the Nigerian Command XO. Pretty happy about that. Moving on to the next set here, we have the Atlas 45 Woo, uh, some Raptor Supply Time, and some Atlas Contractor Boot. Those look okay, but they are professional. And the Atlas 45 Woo, that actually looks pretty cool. It has a mandatory akimbo attachment. That might actually be helpful in going for the camos. Next, we have some Sentinel Airborne Gloves. Those actually don't look too bad at all, but... But, oh well, I already have some Elite Gloves. Won't be needing those. And finally, in the last supply drop of the set, we have KVA Leader knee pads and some enlisted rapid supplies. So nothing too special in this set, but nothing too terrible either. Well, let us move on and see what we can get in the next set. Here we have the KF5 Sporter, the Pac-19 Barricade, and the Ameli Subverter. Jeez, how many times can we get that Ameli? Well, the KF5 Sporter seems pretty good. Uprange down handling, definitely good trade right there. And we got the Ameli Crafty. We get a lot of Amelis here. And the Sentinel Operator Exo. That looks like a cool Exo. It's the first of that style that I've gotten. That's a different shape than I'm used to seeing. I'll gladly hold on to that. And now we got the Nigerian Command Pants. The MP11 Toxic and the KVA Mercenary Pants. That is cool. That is our third piece of the limited edition Nigerian Command set. So, not bad. They're kind of an orange and black theme. Not really my favorite pants, but they're not too bad, I suppose. Well, let's check out the next set. We got the Atlas 20mm Hypersonic and the Atlas 20mm Skilled. Both of those seem pretty average. Nothing that helps the, out the Atlas 20mm that much. So, let's move on. Not too excited about those. We got the Bulldog Breacher and another Atlas 20mm Improved Action. Again, and that's decent, I suppose, but nothing too special, and we already got an amazing bulldog. I do not want to lower the range. Sorry, bulldog breacher. Not really interested. And finally, we got some enlisted rapid supply time, and the EM1 Sweet Dreams, and the Marine Helmet enlisted. Okay, well, nothing too cool there. I think we already got this EM1 at some point. Gotten a lot of pretty bad EM1s. What I'm really looking for is the EM1 Poner. That thing raises your damage by two, and every time I picked it up, it's been really awesome. I'm really looking for that EM1, but I suppose it refuses to surface for now, so I'll just have to go without it. And we got... An elite orbital care package and a pretty decent looking 20 millimeter. Actually, that maxes out the damage and ups the accuracy too. I'm willing to sacrifice my magazine, but let me talk for a second about how terrible this reinforcement is. I don't know why anyone would ever be excited about getting an elite orbital care package. First of all, the rewards from these things are never all that great. And second of all, I can't tell you how many times I've joined a game in progress where there aren't even six minutes left on the clock. And even if you don't join a game in progress, sometimes the game just doesn't even last six minutes. And guess what? If time runs out, do you get your care package in the next game? No, no, it's just gone forever. And even if you eventually get your care package, guess what? It's just a care package. I usually have a support care package with better odds than double tap on my class that I get every single game. Definitely faster than six minutes. And can I double tap my care package? Yeah. Can you double tap this one? No. So you eventually get your reinforcement care package and the game is like, oh, well, here's your recon flying fucking feces shit drone that takes you out of the match for 30 seconds. Oh, oh, thank you so much, game. And that's my rant of the day. Now, in case you didn't notice, this isn't really something I'm mad about. In terms of game flaws, this is super, super low. It's kind of just something I find funny, and now you know why I never like seeing these things in my supply drops. Alright, let's keep moving here. We have a couple more supply drops to go. Okay, looks like we got some Sentinel Intel boots, some KVA paramilitary pants, and the Sentinel Intel Lodo. Those boots actually look pretty cool for an enlisted item. And more of these items that cannot be redeemed. That's an interesting item. The paramilitary pants. Never gotten anything from that set before. But let's open up the third of the set and see what we get. The BAL 27 Tactical, the Nigerian Command Helmet. That's cool. And the Sentinel Mobile Loadout. So that is our fourth piece of the limited edition Nigerian Command set. I really doubt we're going to get it all, but it's cool to have some parts of it. Now let's move on. We have six supply drops left. Two more sets of three. Let's open it up. And we got... 
Enlisted gear, enlisted gear, and the ARX headshot. Okay, uprange, down fire rate, that seems reasonable. Might try using that one. We got some rapid supply time, more Nigerian armored boots. I've had those before, and I don't think they look the best. I got some cooler shoes than that to wear around. And we got Atlas Orbital Pants. Those are pretty cool looking. I have a few elite pants, but those are not bad. Although, I think I still prefer the KVA Radical Pants that I got a while back. I eh, like the darker clothing, kind of helps you blend in a bit more, feels more inconspicuous. But let's open up our final set of three supply drops and see if we can get anything else. Any other cool elites? We got the Battle 27 Carbon. That looks like a decent variant, but it's only enlisted and I already have the Obsidian Steed. I will not be needing that. Alright, second to the last. What can we get? Enlisted gear. And that's it. Okay, come on, last supply drop. Give me something good. We gotta end this off on a high note. And it is going to be the MK14 Deluxe, the AMR9 Express, and the AMR9 Pro Pipe. Alright, we end it with an Elite. Not the best Elite in the world. But up to damage, down to fire rate, you know, that's probably pretty good. The Amor 9 has super low damage, so I'm happy to raise the damage. But it does also lower fire rate quite a bit, which is a good attribute for an SMG to have. So I never really know what effect these attributes have on time to kill. I guess we'll just have to do some experimentation and play around with it a bit and see for ourselves. I just noticed Pro Pipe is basically the inverse of Noob Tube. Very funny, I see you, Sledgehammer. But with that being our last supply drop, the 50th of this video, and our 100th supply drop overall, I'd like to thank you for watching. This video certainly turned out much longer than the last one, simply because I was talking the entire time. The last one was only around 7 minutes to open the same number of supply drops, because it was a quick montage. But anyway, I'd love to hear your feedback of this style of video, and I'd still love to hear what kind of stuff you're going for, and maybe some cool weapons that you found and you're really happy with. I look forward to hearing that, but thank you for watching, and I will catch you next time.